the swim members that are going to I the know. state tournament, state championships coming up in what, at WVU later on in a, in a week or so. Uh, but it was a big meet on Saturday, wasn't it, James? Absolutely was. Um, lots of fast times. Um, just lots of uh, uh, different things happened that I that I don't normally see in a, in a swim meet that uh, um, happened uh, happened over the weekend. Yeah, James, uh, just let's now get into just recapping and start with the uh, women's side getting the win, Fairmont Senior as expected, and then Spring Mills runners-up as expected. But were there anything, I guess, on the women's side that really surprised you? Um, in terms of, like, it, it played out kind of how it normally plays out. There were a lot of DQs. Um, so on the women's side, Martinsburg 200 freestyle relay, uh, they received into the top 12. Um, and ended up getting disqualified, so um, their points were a little bit lower. And um, Washington High School, their 400 freestyle relay also got DQ'd, um, and they were going to also finish in the top 12. So anytime a relay gets DQ'd, um, especially if it wins um, in like the top three, you're, you're you lose 12, 14, or 18 points. So you lose quite a chunk of points in that. For those two schools, they probably would have scored higher if those relays didn't get DQ'd. James, did, uh, did the uh, region get any um, wild cards making it to the tournament? Or to yes, the-, the region got quite a few. So um, I know on air uh, we talked about the 400 freestyle relay. Um, I think I said on the air, I said you're watching um, whenever they all finished. Whenever they all finished um, at the same time, you saw all five of those relays. All five of those relays ended up making it to states, which is quite, um, quite an accomplishment because – um, you know, usually we only get a couple. Um, I can, I know they, I know there was a, a, not only did our relays get, but there was a lot of uh, qualifiers in the um, 50 and the 100 that we didn't get, so, that we got this time. Um, so we have uh, like Declan Hall of Hedgesville. He was, uh, he was a wild card um, in the 50 free and he's seated 12th um, being a wild card. Um, lots of, in the girls' side, um, I believe we have uh, Riley Connor, who was a wild card, um, and Brogan Barlow. Like they finished like sixth place, um, and so they got three wild cards there. Um, in terms of our 200 freestyle relays, um, Hedgesville finished third, but they're still going. Um, Fairmont Senior finished fourth, they're still going, and Spring Mills finished fifth. On the guys' side, those those uh, three are going, and then Jefferson Girls 200 freestyle relay got a wild card. Um, in terms of the medley relay, um, Spring Mills and Jefferson, um, they didn't finish in the top two, um, but they are going on, on the guy side as opposed. And then Fairmont Senior for the 200 medley relay is going for the girls. And then um, that's about it. There's a couple other um, events sprinkled in that has some wild cards as well. And, James, who are some of the biggest contenders, I guess, that are going to have a great shot going at State's purse, like individual-wise? Who are some of the big names that we should expect to hear come out of that, that State swim meet from uh, this region locally here in the Eastern Panhandle? Well, when we, when we came into the day, everybody knew Nick Lugo. Nick Lugo is seated first. He, um, I believe, might be the first, um, first person that could win um, two state titles in the Eastern Panhandle, so that's exciting. Um, I also miss, I also mentioned Eshawn Hattie the other day um, with his uh, breaststroke, 100 yard breaststroke. He's in the top seven. But someone new that was not even ranked in this event coming in is uh, Sawyer Wright from Musselman. Um, he came in on that 12, 13th line on his 100 yard freestyle, and now he's seated. T- now he's seated in the sixth place. Um, so that um, so that is awesome um, for him because he went from pretty much not barely being able to get a ribbon to he now might get a medal. So you get a medal if you finish in the top six. Um, Cassidy Driver, um, she is she is um, right there on the 8-9 line. Um, then, you, of course, you've got Lily Risenweber, who's also one of the other girls that might finish in the top six for her 100 backstroke. Our Cassidy Driver is also there on the 100 backstroke. Uh, Brianna Shirk from Musselman, she is on the, on the, the 11th place line, so she might score some points. Um, but really the key is there's a lot of relays. Um, this is what I find fascinating in this area. I think in every event, um, in every relay event, there is a local school, um, local school seated in at least the top 10. 
um, for the for the relay. So that's that's quite an awesome accomplishment because that's not usually we don't get a lot of relays um, in this region to finish in the top twelve. So that's something really exciting from this meet. James, uh, what is the preparation going to be like for those individuals that are headed up to states here as they uh, prepare? Well, um, this week and next week, we um, see so normally we, we rotate the one hour a week that we get, or we get like three one hour practices a week. Um, this, this week and next week, um, the, each team gets um, one hour. So there's a lot more detailed work. So this is where you, um, this is where you do a lot more turn work. This is where, um, if you've ever heard the word taper, I think you taper in a track or as well, but this is where you, uh, basically tapering is you, um, for the first 16 weeks of the season, you go hard, you push hard, you kick hard, you swim hard, and then you gradually pull it back. So that way, you know, your body is so used to pushing hard, but then, um, because you, because you pull back, um, your body's extra, um, extra ready. I know I've seen some, um, cupping, um, the, whatever the, I'm not fully familiar with it, but I've seen it at States where they, it's like that, uh, technique where you see like little marks on the back, but it, it gets your, it gets your body ready. Um, you know, some, some people that didn't wear tech suits last week will be wearing tech suits at States. Um, and basically there's a lot of time staring. So they look at my site, they see, okay, sixth place is this, that's where I want to be. Your 12th place is this. That's where I want to be. So you you know like what your very specific time is. When you go to regionals, you're trying to win a regional title, um, and you're trying to win be as be as many points as you can in states. But really, what you're trying to do is know what your specific time goal is that you're trying to achieve. Final question, James. I know we got to see at least uh, two regional records broken both by nick lugo i apologize if i'm forgetting any other records that were broken but uh if it was only alexis those ramsey two have, uh, alexis ramsey, ramsey broke one of fairmont senior okay so just start with uh, i guess those two how cool was it to see him not only break his own record but a record of a uh, coach that was in attendance and then go on and quickly uh, talk about ramsey's um that was an, that was awesome because they both they both swam for jefferson um, nick swims currently swims for jefferson keegan simmons swam for jefferson many years ago and you don't get to do that usually um the record is some random name that you hear and you see on a wall and you just don't you never get to meet them but um nick actually got to meet him and as we also said on the broadcast um not only <laughs> keegan said congratulations you broke my uh Congratulations, you broke my regional record, but you still don't have my school record yet, so you're going to need to swim faster at States to beat that. So I thought that was nice. And then um, Alexis Ramsey, she broke her own record. So she said it last year, I believe, in the 200-yard IM. So she so she gets, to, she gets to see her own name, and then not only did she break it last year, she, gets to break it, she got to break it again this year, which um, is probably a wonderful accomplishment as a, as a swimmer there. All right, James, thanks for the time, and we'll be talking here around the state meet time.